Hello and welcome to the new episode of the Network and Cisco Packet Tracer Tutorials for Beginner. CRH is here and in today's tutorial I am going to discuss about the static NAT or the technology we sometimes refer as a port forwarding in a networking world. In a previous tutorial you learned how to implement the dynamic NAT or NAT overload, your segment from VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 are uh, able to ping the 8.8.8.8 on the internet by doing up implementing the NAT on a disrouter one. But here, let's say we have an internal web server and we want to be accessible from the outside world of the internet. So before more talking, let's start the configuration, do some hardware, hardware working. Let's add the switch. 12960 would be okay and add one server uh, just generic server server zero zero you can name it as a web server one okay let's do the cabling connect the router uh, only available port is gigabit zero slash two connect to the last port that I prefer and connect our server to the interface fast ethernet 0 10 and let's assign the ip address for these servers go to the desktop ip configuration 192.168.0.10 and the gateway will be 192.168.0.1 in our previous practice and let's um, run the web server for on this server as you can see we have a di different services available on services, but here we only need the HTTP. Make sure that the HTTP and HTTPS are available. And here are uh, the code of the HTML behind the index.html file. Uh, we're going to modify this. Let's uh, name it to the web server one internal. You can put anything, add some VR code here for break line and the IP will be 192.168.0.10. Here we go, our web server is ready. Let's configure the interface on the router. Click on it. Enable, show IP interface brief. Okay, interface brief. Show IP interface brief if I can type. Here we go. So these are the previous configuration. We have to configuration the gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 2. So go to global configuration mode, IP interface, interface gigabit 0 slash 2, IP address we 192.168.0.1 slash 24.255.255.255.0. No shot. Make sure the link is up. So IP is brief. So I think brief. Yes. Here we go. This is a command. We set the IP address here for our DMZ. So when we are waiting for the link on the switch is come up, let's do some documentation. We call it as a DMZ or dematerialized zone. This is a place usually in a network world you put your server like a web or email server which you want to be accessible from the internet. So the network of this segment is 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
one. Click on the cloud, go to the router zero, our internet router, go to the CLI, enable, show IP interface brief, let's see what we got here. Here we go, okay, this is our internet side, this is our look back on our previous tutorials and we are going to config the gigabit 0 slash 1 go to global configuration mode interface g0 slash 1 IP address will be 172.16.1 which is a gateway for our laptop 0, 0 here you go this is a command so I'm quite sure that you are familiar with this and let's ping our laptop 172.16.0.10 just make sure we have a full connectivity okay it may take time to come up oh did i put the no shot oh no this is you can see the port is still administratively down here i referring oops not this one show ip interface brief here we go this is i didn't bring up the physical of the server okay omid is here conf t interface gigabit 0 slash 1 no shot and i'm sure this time our link is up and running we can ping our laptop here we go yes we got a ping nice okay back and let's go to the laptop <clears throat> and see what is accessible uh, for sure we want to access from this laptop to this web server inside the DMZ zoom behind the net or the firewall in most cases in the real life let's see what we got IP config ping 172.16.1 I can ping my gateway let's ping 192.168.0.10 I couldn't reachable inside the network it's obvious and but I can ping the public IP address which is ping 175.10.0.2 is assigned by the ISP to the network for everyone and is accessible from the outside most cases here we go we can ping it <coughs> let's open the web browser go to 175.10.0.1 when I Try to reach the web server, I don't have any access. Let's try 192.168.0.10. Also, I don't have any access. Waiting for sure is show us the request timeout. Request timeout is here, so we don't have still any access to our web server. The solution to this scenario is applying the static net over the central router in our edge. So we go to the grotter in the global configuration interface G0 slash 2 IP NAT inside. We have to add the DMZ interface to our NAT inside zone, like our internal network, back to the global configuration mode. IP NAT inside question mark. We use the source question mark. This time, as you can see, specifically said that specify static local to global mapping here. So we use the <coughs> static net type question mark. We have an option to use a port or IP. So we go with the specific port working with the specific port. And question mark is asked for inside local IP address, which is our server IP address 0 10. And question mark asked for the local port which is web server standard port AD question mark and ask for inside global IP address which is our public IP address assigned by ISP 175.10.0.2 and finally request for the global TCP UDP port let's go with the same standard port in this case I'll add another server and I'll show you how you can play with this port forwarding option also and finally Enter. Let's take a look at the command. IPNet inside source static. This is an important keyword for a static net. And map the port AD on the local server to this IP address on a global side to the same port AT address. If you remember, when we went to the laptop, 
and open the web browser, we don't have access to any website from the global public IP address. This time we expected to see some result. And here we go. We, our web server, internal web server, located at our DMZ, is available from the outside world by other people. So as you can see, it's easily accessible. So now you learn the static nets. It's very useful. Uh, let's um, continue with one more example and add one more server. Here we go. I add this server. This time, I connect the server. Pass Ethernet to the 0 slash 11. And let's set the IP address and put it 192.168.0.11. 192.168.0.1 is our gateway and slash 24 is our subnet. Go to the HTTP again this time. Let's modify the HTML code and put the web server 2 and the IP. Let's use the BR. It's much more nicer. BR. IP is, is a break is a HTML normal HTML code IP 192.168.0.11 and here we go this time I want to map the port AD of this IP address which is 192.168.0.11 port AD map to 175.10.0.2 let's say port ADAD here we go so take a look this is for the other server take a closer look yeah map port AD over the port ADAD different port accessible from the outside we back to global configuration mode this time IP net inside source again static TCP 192.168.0.11 second server port AD still your internal port is 80 to the 175.10.0.2 this time I use for my global port AD AD so now here we go Ooh, sorry where am I? I lost oh yeah okay go to the laptop open the web browser 175.10.0.2 our web server 1 colon 8080 and here we go we are on a web server 2 with the different IP address take a close look IP address colon port address okay so as you can see the port forwarding also works how you can verify your static NAT go to the NAT and show IP NAT show net as you remember like previous show ip net if i can type net and translation here we go this is our command show ip net with translation here are our two static net 175.10.02.8080 over the internal AT and the 175.10.0.2 port AT is net to the 192.160.0.10 port AT and here are the access from the outside world you can see the who's accessing and the laptop 172.16.0.10 with the auto generated internal port is access to our port on AT which is our web server so I hope this video will be informative for you. We are almost done with the all the possible basic nets available in the packet tracer and we will continue with other topics on our future video. If you find this video helpful, please follow, learn, share and subscribe to our channel. Bye for now.